Hello and God bless you young people. My name is Reverend Jared Reed Smith and I'm a minister here at the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor is Dr. Johnny Calvin Smith. God bless you young people and thank you for joining me here for your Sunday school lesson. I'm so happy uh, to have you. Remember that we're always praying for you. We want you to always be reminded to read your Bible every day. Remember to pray every day. Remember to do those things that are pleasing in God's sight. Okay, let's get into our lesson. But before we do, let's pray. Gracious God, we do say thank you. Thank you, God, for everything. Lord, I pray that you please bless these young people. Uh, help them to know that you're always there. It's in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. So our lesson for today, young people, comes from the book of Judges. And we'll be looking at Judges chapter 7, uh, verses 2 through 4, verses 13 through 15, and then chapter 8, verses 22 through 25. Our lesson topic is God helps Gideon trust him. Our golden scripture, our golden text scripture is Judges chapter 7, verse 15. And it says, Gideon worshiped and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And our big idea for today is to thank God when he helps you with your problems. And so in our lesson, in our lesson today, I want to tell you about a problem that God's people had. Now, of course, we've been studying about them and how they were making their way to the promised land, a land that God promised them. But Israel did have one big promise. Uh, I'm sorry, not a promise. They had, Well, they did have a promise. Or they did have a promise from God that they were going to make it to this promised land. But they had a problem. They had a big problem. It, this promised land had enemies in the land. And one of the enemies, remember I told you, it's kind of like moving into a house, a brand new house, and other people are already living there. But God told you that you're going to move into this house. So God wants you to make sure that these other people get out of your house before you move in. So that's kind of the issue that God had, uh, or that God's people uh, had. So they had this issue with the enemies that are already in this land. One of these enemies was a country called Midian. The Midian had a big army. So God sent a man by the name of Gideon to lead Israel's army in battle against Midian. But God thought that Gideon's army was too big. Now, you have to understand that Gideon's uh, army started off with 32,000 people. That's a lot of people. And the Midianites had an army of over 100,000 people. So 32,000 is way less than 100 and 100,000, right? So God said, okay, all right, you got 32,000 people, cool, but that's too many people. And so we would probably think, if I were to write this on the board right now, maybe write it on the wall behind me, this army has over 100,000. I only have 32,000. We sh you should let me keep my 32,000, right, God? God said, that's too many people, Gideon. It's too many people. So God tells Gideon uh, to go and talk to the people and ask them, if any of y'all are scared, if any of y'all are afraid, then go home. So basically, you have over 32,000 people. God told, tells Gideon to go and talk to the people, see if anyone's scared, see if anyone's afraid. And if they're afraid, tell them to go ahead and head home. So 22,000 people left. So let's do the math. 32,000 minus 22,000 leaves us with what? Only 10,000 people. Now I remind you that the enemy has over 100,000 people. So you're leaving me with only 10,000 people. Okay, God, all right, let's make it work. Well, God says that's still too many people. I wonder why God is making Gideon get rid of so many people. But he had already told Gideon that he was going to win this battle. wonder what God is trying to do. Well, I think God is doing exactly what he always does. And he wants us to know that with us, things seem or they can be impossible. But with God, it's not impossible. God can do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do. And it doesn't take a lot of people for God to do what he needs to do. So what happens in the story? Starts off with 32,000, 
He gets rid of 22,000 and he leaves us with 10,000. Then God says, you know what, Gideon, there's still too many people. 10,000 is still too many. I'm going to take them to a special place and I'm going to put them to the test. Now, we don't know what the test was, but God put them through some type of test. And then we were only going to be left with 300 people, 300 men, 300 soldiers were going to be left. That's a small army. But God did not want Gideon to be afraid. He showed Gideon that he was in control. At nighttime, Gideon sneaked up on the Midian's uh, camp to spy on the enemy. He heard two men from the Midian army uh, talking. One man said, I dreamed that a giant loaf of bread fell into our camp and it knocked over one of our tents. And so this special dream uh, helped Gideon to be reminded of what was going to happen uh, to the Midianites. In other words, Gideon went into, he snuck into the camp of the enemy and he overheard people talking about this dream. In this dream, it was basically telling Gideon that God had already given him the victory because in this dream, uh, this loaf or this loaf of bread or this barley loaf it rolled over some tents and it knocked all the tents down. Now, this was just a dream. But when Gideon heard the dream, he realized that God was telling him that, hey, we have the victory. We're going to be able to accomplish this. We will be able to win uh, this, video, this, this, this victory. We were able to win. So Gideon and his servant, they go back to God's people and he says, arise, get up, get your stuff ready because God is giving us the victory. The soldiers from Midian, from Midian was obviously scared because they're already talking about what God was going to do. So Gideon gets over there and he says, get up, get up guys. God gave us the victory. God's going to help us beat our enemies. And guess what happened? God gave them the victory. Even so much that just with 300 people, God was able to give them the victory. Isn't that good news? Isn't that a beautiful story that God was able to give them the victory? And all Gideon had to do was put his trust in God. And guess what, young people? That's all God is asking for us too. We have to put our trust in him and know that God is a man of his word. What does that mean? As I, as I close this video, we used to say when I was growing up that I'm a man of my word. That means that if I say I'm going to do something, then guess what? I'm going to do it. If I say I'm going to take the trash out, then guess what? I'm going to take the trash out. Well, guess what? God is a man of his word as well. And so if he tells us that we have the victory, if he tells us that everything's going to be all right, if he tells us that he's always with us, if he tells us that we're always going to be taken care of, then guess what? everything will be all right. He will take care of us. He will be with us and we will always be all right. Why? Because God is a man of his word. He took an army of just 300 men and they were able to defeat. We don't know how, but they were able to defeat an army of over a hundred thousand men. Why? Because God is a man of his word. All we have to do is trust and believe that God will keep his word. God bless you, young people. I pray that you learned something good today. God bless you. Have a great week.